All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, regular expressions, positive and negative look ahead. So look aheads are patterns that tell JavaScript to look ahead in our string to check for patterns further along. This can be useful when we want to search for multiple patterns over the same string. So there are two kinds of look aheads, positive look aheads and negative look aheads, all right? Uh, a positive look ahead will look to make sure the element in the search pattern is there, but won't actually match it. A positive look ahead is used as uh, some parentheses and then we'll have a question mark equal sign and then some uh, dot 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 where the dot 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 is the required part that is not matched. All right. Uh, on the other hand, a negative look ahead will look to make sure the element in the search pattern is not there. All right. Uh, the negative look ahead is used as, uh, instead of the equal sign, we'll have the exclamation point, where the dot, dot, dot is the pattern that we do not want to be there. The rest of the pattern is returned if the negative look ahead part is not present. All right. So look aheads are a bit confusing, but some examples might help. All right. So we've got let quit equal Q U and let no quit equal Q T. So we're going to let Q regex equal Q and then we'll have the uh, positive look ahead with the U, and then we'll have the let Q regex be <laughs> uh, the Q with the negative look ahead U right there. And then we'll do quit.match Q U regex, and then we'll do no quit.match Q regex, and both the match calls will return the letter Q, because like it said here, the rest of the pattern is returned if the negative look ahead part is not present. So it gets rid of this part, I guess, and uh, just keeps this part right here. I guess that's what's going on. Uh, so a more practical use of look aheads is to check two or more patterns in one string. So here's a naively simple password checker that looks for between three and six characters and at least one number, right? So we're gonna let password equal ABC123, and then we'll do let check pass equal, and then we'll have the net positive look ahead a W for any character, uh, a through Z, and then also what, one through zero through nine, and the underscore, and then we'll have between three and six characters, and then we'll also have it do a positive look ahead for any non-digit, uh, zero or more non-digits, and then uh, at least one digit, I guess that's what that says. Uh, and then if we do check pass dot test password, uh, I guess it'll say true. Anyway, so I, I got ChatGPT to, uh, do this for us because I really don't totally don't get it right now. But uh, basically, so yeah, this does what it said. And then this does what it said in the uh, in the, the description. But the thing about it is, instead of like, th like doing a thing where it looks for words, then letters, uh, basically, when it's two things inside of parentheses like this, it's actually like two conditions or like two if statements, right? because I asked it, uh, so it's like two different rules instead of looking for letters, then numbers. And then, yeah, it's like, it's just like two different if statements, basically. I mean, if you want to read this, let, you can just pause it. And there's that part and that part. Uh, but anyway, so there we go. Let's get back, let's get back to it. So now we're going to look, use look aheads in the PW regex to match passwords that are greater than five characters long and have two consecutive digits, all right? So first things first, this one was tricking me for a while. Uh, there's no two digits in here. So let's put like 22 right there. Just so it, now it has two digits to check. And let's come over here and do that, the uh, regex that we're going to do. So we're going to have the positive look ahead to start out with. And we're going to look for, uh, we're going to do question mark equals. And then we'll look for the uh, characters between, but it's got to be greater than six. So we'll have inside of here, we'll do uh, six comma like that so it's greater than six and then on this other one we'll do the thing that checks for numbers since it's checking for two numbers we'll basically do this we'll do the uh question mark equals backslash capital d and then since it's doing two numbers we'll just do lowercase d and lowercase d like that so that it's two digits like that so we'll come down here and say console.log and we'll say uh result and you see it's false. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the star right here. Uh, let's put the star in. 
like that. And now it says true uh, and this is correct. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to check for mixed grouping of characters and we'll see you next time.